हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व क्वेश्चंस बेस्ड ऑन वर्ड प्रॉब्लम ओके सो देयर आई हैव रिटन अ क्वेश्चन इट सेज दैट ऑन सैटरडे दीपिया प्रैक्टिस मैथ्स फॉर 1 एंड 1.3 4 आवर्स रीड एन इंग्लिश लिटरेचर बुक फॉर 1 आवर 1 बाय 2 आवर्स एंड दे मैथ्स वर्क फॉर 2 होल 3 बाय 4 आवर्स How much time you see here? How much time did she spend studying? Okay, it's very uh, clear now. But what you will do first of all, you will write everything whatever is given there in this question. You you mention it now. Okay. So first of all, you can see uh, in math word, she gives. One whole three by four hours. Okay, so time spent on maths. How much? You see, it is one whole three by four hours. Next is there time spent on doing. English literature work. Okay, so you write time spent on English work. It is one whole one by two hours. The next is time spent on doing math work. Okay. So time spent on doing math work. Okay, it is two whole three by four hours. Okay, now I have to find that how much time did she spend all together in school. Okay, so. Total time spent by her. Time spent by her in study. You will simply add all these three. Okay. First one is one whole three by four plus. One whole one by two plus two whole three by four. Okay, what you do? These all three are in mixed fraction. Okay, first of all you need to change it in improper. Four one by four and plus three seven by four plus two one by two and one three by two plus. Four to the eight and three eleven by four. Now you will take LCM of four two and four. It will be four only. Four one to one is coming now to seven. Two two to two three to six plus four one to it will be eleven now. When you will add it together, you will get eleven uh, and seven eighty and six twenty four by four. Okay. You can reduce to its lowest. It will be six hours. Means six hours will be the answer. Fine. So in this way, you have seen now how to do the questions based on word. Okay. Statements are very very important. You must write the statements in any of the word problems. Okay. So now I have another question also. I think you don't have any problem in doing this. Okay. Now next question I'll do writing here. These type of questions basically you get in your exams. Okay. The question is what should be added. Okay. I'm writing it now. Okay. Question is, what should be added 
to 5 by 3 to get minus 7 by 2. Okay? Question mark. Okay? You read the question carefully. Okay? What should be added? If you get these type of lines in any of the question, you simply get help of variables. Okay? If written there, what should be added? You simply consider there is a node called x that should be added. Okay? So you write here in solution, let a number x be added. Okay? So, according to the question, if you go through it, what will happen? x be added to this x plus 5 by 3 to get this equals to minus 7 by 2. Once you get an equation, after that, you need to solve for unknown term only. Okay? Keep this unknown term one side and this of the constant value. One by one, you see that side. So x will be minus 7 by 2 minus it is plus. So when you set that side, will be plus. Okay, so it will become 5 by 3. Now you know well, you will have to take the LCM. 2 and 3. LCM of it will be 6. 2, 3 is minus 21 minus 3, 2 is means 10. When you solve it, it will be minus 31 by 6. This value we will add to this and we will get this. This will be the answer. Okay? Now, in the same way, this was based on addition. What should be added? The similar type of question, you will get in subtraction also. Okay? You will see that question also. This addition, uh, you will do like this. Okay? I am giving you another question also. Okay? Going to draw this. What should be subtracted? Only this thing should be changed. Okay? And we will get the another question. What should be subtracted from minus 2 by 3 to get 7 by 6. Okay. Once again, you read the question carefully. What should be subtracted? You say in the solution, let x be subtracted. Let x be subtracted. Okay. Now, if you go through this question, you write this according to the question. x be subtracted from what? From this value. Means, minus 2 by 3 minus x should come out 7 by 6. Now, once again, you have an equation and you have to solve for this unknown term only. So, what you will do, this numerical value, this constant value, you set that side. So, minus x will be 7 by 6 and this is negative. So, when you set it, it will become plus 2 by 3. Now, LCM will have to take 6, 1 ja, 7 plus 3, 2 ja, 2 ja, 4. Minus x will be now. 11 by 6. This minus, see that side will become minus 11 by 6. This is the only answer. So, in this way, we have seen a few word problems and we have seen how to solve these questions. Thank you. Uh, we will see some more questions in the next uh, video. Okay, thank you.